Welcome to our uh, science lesson of the night. Uh, it is our last night. We're thinking we'll probably fly out of here tomorrow morning. It is uh, uh, February 15th mm -hmm. with uh, Dr. Powers here. And um, two of us are going to kind of help you a little bit with why uh, Antarctica gets a lot of sun in the summer, their summer, and none in their winter. Uh, you have seen pictures out of this window here. This is our Crary Laboratory. And we started filming here a month and a half ago in January. And while we were working, and by the way, right now it's 10.30 at night. 10.30 at night. And while we were working here, we would have to pull the blinds down because the sun was up so high. But as you can see right now, it is not. Um, we don't have the lights on in this room in here and uh, we wouldn't be able to be working in here with it this dark. So it is uh, pretty obvious that uh, there's a change of seasons going on here. And uh, Dr. Powers and I will help you uh, understand what's going on as to uh, why we don't have as much sunlight now as we did a month ago. So we have a globe here. As you can see, it's tilted. It's tilted. It's not because the makers of the globe were a little bit uh, uh, confused or leaning to the side when they made this, but uh, it is leaned onto the side like that because that's how the Earth is. It's tilted 23 and a half degrees on its axis. So let's simulate. See, I'm looking out the window right here. We're going to simulate like this is the sun coming through and hitting onto the earth. So Topper, let's make this. Right now it's leaning. Um, so this would be, oh, let's spin it all the way around. This would be like where we're at right now. So it's leaning around. So you can see here comes the sunlight. And yeah, as Topper turns that, you can see all of Antarctica as it goes around day and night. So this is a 24 hour rotation that uh, Topper is doing right now. And there's the Western Antarctic Peninsula and as it rotates around where the sun would be shining, I could look right across and I could still see it. So it'd be 24 hours of daylight there in, uh, in Antarctica. Well, uh, in the middle of February now, let's go six months later, Topper, yeah. So it's going to rotate about like so. So right now, I can see the Western Antarctic Peninsula. And glancing across, I could still see really all of Antarctica, but not as bright uh, as what uh, we could have seen a month ago. So that's kind of like what we're looking at right now. We could see the sun, but it's uh, very low on the horizon. That's Mount Discovery out there. It's uh, kind of tucked down below. Let's go uh, about three months or four months later, Topper. So it'll be, yeah, we'll rotate that around. So now you can see the northern hemisphere is leaning towards the sun. Southern hemisphere is away from the sun. So what we're doing is revolving the earth around the sun. So you look now, if we're the sun aiming this direction, we can't see any of Antarctica. There's a, uh, the tip of South America and uh, we, that's, that's tough to see there too. So that's why for probably four months of the year, Antarctica is in the dark. Day and night, it's gonna be tilted away. It won't be able to be seen. Uh, it won't be seeing the sun. So now you know why uh, we don't have the sun, don't need as much sunscreen as what we used to have to wear at midnight. And uh, we're going to be getting out of here before the darkness hits. Winter like is coming <laughs> for Antarctica. We, we could uh, definitely feel that. Yeah, need to use the lights around here now. Are you sleeping better in the dark? I'm finding more dark and yeah. it's, uh, you don't have to put the eye shades on. So there it is. Another science uh, Antarctic fact for you. Talk to you later. Night. All right, I'm here with Dr. Adams here in our office. And uh, he's got another super cool fact about what we were just talking about with why there's so much sunlight during the summer and uh, darkness in the winter. Cool fact that he has. Here's a cool thing. In October 24th, the sun rises and it doesn't go down again until February 24th.
Cool. Man. So tw February 20th. So from mm -hmm. October 24 until February 20, the sun is up in the sky and there is no sunset. That's Very a long cool. time to have Very no cool. sunset. It's a Very long time cool. to have 24 hours a day sunlight. So we have like one day and one night? Well, one big at, one? at the South Pole, it's like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, here you get some twilight and you get some ups and downs. But Short, maybe you could have like a one hour dark night and then it'll get a little bit longer each night of darkness. Nah, yeah. But, yeah. Very yeah. cool. So starting the 24th, the February 20th, so starting in about what, four days? Yeah, yeah. In about four, four days, days, it will start getting dark here like it does in other parts of the world. Yeah, every night. Yeah. All right, another cool fact. Talk to you later.